we're live. Hopefully you guys can hear me. If you can hear me all right, can you just throw something in the chat saying sounds good? Welcome to part two of the Finding Profitable Token Ideas series using Chainage. Can somebody tell me you can hear me okay? I assume you can. Um, so we're going to go over, uh, yep, all good, sweet. Okay. Um, so we're going to go over a couple strategies I use to find, um, ideas with the site. Um, I've posted some of these in the discord. So if you're not in the discord, um, you should check those out. Um, but first I want to just make a point. Uh, cause I've gotten this feedback privately, you know, like these people, like you have to remember like they're traders, just like you or I, they don't always make money. Like I had someone, uh, they basically aped every time they saw someone buying something and they lost a couple ETH and then they said, this is the worst platform ever. And it's like, yeah, but that's not really how it works, right? Like you have to match the site to your style of trading, right? Like if you're not used to trading DEX tokens at all, you're not going to do very well trading with the site. Anyway, want to get that out of the way. So just because any of these guys are buying something doesn't mean you should just go ahead and ape. So let's go with strategy one. This is a new one that we've kind of cooked up with the crew. So first off, if you're new or not a sub, we've changed our wallet labels to have rock and emojis for new launch pros. These are guys that are top six months traders uh, in terms of PL that have made all of their PL uh, on new launches. So like this guy's a good example. 600k of realized PL in the last six months. The majority of that comes from buying tokens age zero to two days old. So that is his specialty. The goal of these emojis is to give you context around who, like, what are you seeing, right? They're obviously smart, but what you're seeing is they're good at new things. So if you see them aping new things, it's interesting, right? So that is where we're going to start with what I call the true alpha stream. So by putting just the emoji in the wallet filter, you are now filtering for just those wallets. There's only like a hundred or so of them. We're pasting uh, ETH's address in the sell token, so you're getting just buys. I filtered the transaction value for 3,000. Right, so now you're getting, because 3,000 to me, after watching this data for a while, is kind of more of a conviction bet. So now you're getting higher conviction bets um, from new launch pros. And this is obviously live, you can see it over time. And so this is like a really good starting point to kind of avoid new launch garbage. So, you know, things that are likely gonna rug, you know, people don't just start throwing 16 grand, 33 grand at those things. They do throw, <laughs> throw it at Shia. Um, this is like a really good starting point to just see like what is smart money doing right now. You can filter these all the way back for a very long time. There's 300 pages of it. But this gets you up to speed on what is going on right now with smart money. Obviously, it's mostly the Shia show. But what's interesting is if we actually, you can either type the tokens in the buy filter or you can type the address. We'll use this as a case study of how uh, this filter is de most definitely alpha. So let's say I was running this filter, um, you know, a couple days ago. It's, it might take me a little bit for this to page over. Okay, so let's say, you know, we're sitting here on the 22nd. I ran this filter, right? And boom, I see um, you know, buys of the Shia. They're buying in size. Event uh, next week, you'll, there'll be a contract age filter in here, so you can then filter this for brand new tokens. So then you're getting alpha on alpha. 
you'd see these buys at 0.07. Like Irene, very good shit pointer, 360K of realized PL, decent hit rate, grow your insight. It's even better, higher hit rate, higher realized PL. You know you're you're dealing with a good crew here. Very good shit coiners. So they're buying this thing, you know, and the buys just kept on coming. Like for instance, this guy actually made a uh, 300K just on this token. Um, but you know, that is like a signal like, oh shit, something's up. Like they're aping in size. They kept aping more too, right? Like they bought more, bought more. Like all three of these new launch guys bought again. And if you would have seen that in the site or you use our alerts that are coming out in the next couple of weeks, uh, you would hit an 80X, right? Plain and simple. And so that's like one of my new favorite strategies to run because it kind of filters out a lot of noise um, by using these filters because you're getting just buys. You know the context around the rocket emoji uh, and then you have all the other information you need along with the transaction value. And like I said, in next week's release, you'll be able to filter this by contract age, which, you know, uh, it's what else can you ask for, really? Um, and, I mean, there's been other examples, like uh, there was that new Pepe token. I don't have the contract address, so if you guys just bear with me for eight seconds I'll find that contract address because I can't search the Pepe name in the buy uh, section uh, okay so now let's see how it would have looked for the new Pepe token which if you're not familiar has been just an absolute runner yeah I mean you would have had a great time Right, like not as many wallets, but uh, you know this token from that point is up quite a bit. I think it's actually near all-time highs. Um, let's see if I can get the load. Yeah, 0 0.006, and these buys were these later buys still kind of in profit, but this first buy, you know, obviously up massive. And you can go back through and even build like your wallet list using this and see who was early in this cohort for any of these tokens you want to see. Um, so that's like strategy one. And you guys can ask questions whenever. Um, I think this is the most people we've ever had on the live stream. So maybe we can get some good questions at any point. But hopefully that's self-explanatory on like a new launch <laughs> build uh, if you're in the gaming. Um, but you can do it however you want. Like even if you... You want to ramp up your minimum transaction value to like five grand and see what that looks like. You know, then you'll see even bigger tokens. Like you'll see this lend. Do you copy trade Irene Zhao? <sighs> um, I had a copy trade bot on them for a little bit and they went on a cold streak and I turned it off and it was a mistake because they, they pick the heat back up. Um, so if I look um, at our like leaderboard stats, Irene is, is definitely uh, 78K on Shia. There was another one they did pretty good recently too. Um, we could check their actual wallet. Number of fresh wallets to the Alpha Stream page. Yes, so that's coming next week too. She, uh, they had another real. Oh, Axe was another good recent win. Thirty K. I'm missing one. Hmm. Whatever. But anyway, you know, this is like another thing you can do. Obviously, is you can diligence. Are they hitting the new things? Are they a good trader? What's their win rate look like you can go into their explain PL. that's for people that aren't familiar with the platform and this is how we categorize our people into either new launch pros or gem spotters because their PL is 
either being created on new launches or not. And so that kind of segues more into, you can also do a gem spotter screen, right? So let's say you get exhausted by a new shitcoin launching at 100 xing every single day. Well, you can run the same screen that we ran before. Um, wait, why is that on par? Um, so same thing, right? You could take the gem emoji, put ETH as a cell. We'll filter transactions for, let's say 10,000, right? Like we're, they're really swinging. Yeah, <laughs> even more people. These these were like the people piling on to Shia. Like you'll see a lot of them was at like 0.2, yet back in here. Olas. You know, it's like, I mean, it's just like your guide to good tokens, right? Like, these ones are too recent, but you know, if we go back a couple of pages, you'll see like Olas was back at like 70 cents and was getting flows. Um, and we're, we're doing a bunch of work to add a lot of gem spotters or get them recategorized into this label group over the weekend. So you'll see a lot more of them. Um, and again, you'll be able to filter contract ages on this screen. So obviously you won't be looking for the zero to two day time horizon on gem spotters, right? Cause that's not what they're good at, but you could filter it for, let's say tokens that are 30 days old or less, right? Cause that's like the sweet spot for a lot of these guys. Like if we take this guy and we check out his PL, we can look at his explain PL and see like, well, what's he good at? So obviously, very consistent, right? No giant winners, but likes to just print. So if we look at the explain PL. Yeah, so they actually have a lot of PL in new launches too, but they have even more in total in the like three to 30 range. Um, right, and so they're still kind of early, but you know, like people that are getting PL in like three days to 15 days to 30 days, you know, they're, they're spotting things that people are missing. And so they're going to be buying things like maybe Axe, you know, a couple days after launch and then the Ape with more money, um, which is pretty cool. So a, another way to do it, which isn't really a live feed necessarily, is when the market gets soft, you can use our swap summary page to filter out all the stables and ETH noise and just look at what is smart money been accumulating over the last seven days, right? Cause it was about seven days ago when the market started falling apart. And like, these are all the coins that have done pretty well since then. It's like Olas, Hilo, Ator, Mog, Bad, Soaps, EMP. You know, it's like, you don't need Twitter, you don't need a group. Like it's telling you what smart money is betting on, which ones they like. You can, see you can click into any of these and see what's going on. Um, and so that's like a relatively easy one. Cause then, you know, most times these won't be new launchers because they're higher dollars. And so then you can go and do research and be like, oh, I actually really think like Hilo's prediction market thing is cool. Um, Maybe they have like some, I think like rev share about, I think they're about to launch rev share. So that's like a catalyst. It could go up, right? Like pretty simple, so like EMP. We actually saw like an anomaly of flows in EMP yesterday, right? We had two of our best wallets, a 1 million p and and 750K p and wallet pick up 50K of EMP. That's interesting, like out of nowhere, right? Like I always look for charts like, like this, where it's like, yeah, like the token's doing good. There's obviously smart money interest. And then it's like, okay, now there's a lot of smart money interest. Like what's going on there? I need to dive into it. I think these guys are about to launch like their Telegram bots live. It's actually a pretty cool project, project so I would check it out. Um, Cause they even have like, um, you know, it's like a SDK for building, you know, your own Telegram bot or like a um, Telegram 
gambling bot. There's a lot of stuff going on in it. It's pretty cool. But again, like that's like the process, right? Like you have your signal, okay, smart money bot. It's like a good token, like sentiments decent, um, but like it's pretty cheap. And then you can go and research it, right? So it's like, to me, coming from traditional finance background, like I always view this stuff as like your top of funnel for idea generation, right? Because you get lost on Twitter or other sites with too many ideas. And there's really only a couple that do really well over time. And so if you have like, you know, like this is like a decent base rate, right? Is it a transaction privacy shielding pro protocol? So they have that in there too, but that's not the only thing they do. Um, there's like a bunch of stuff it does actually. Um, and also I'm pretty sure these guys do not typically, like this guy nailed Pepe. I think he made like, you know, four or 500 K on Pepe alone. So anyway, they're, they're obviously seeing something there that's interesting. Um, let's see a question here. What's your profit taking a loss cutting strategy? Uh, depends on the type of token. If it's a more fundamental token, I tend to not give up um, because uh, like a recent example is shares. So I saw shares coming through the alpha stream at like a dollar. So I bought some. And it went down like 60% because it was late at night in Eastern time. Uh, and then I woke up and it went from 50 cents to 50 bucks. So I tend to not want that to happen. Uh, so to avoid that, if it's like a real project or at least seems like it could be a real project, I like to hold it at least for a little bit, unless it just goes and dies. Um, but for meme coins, I usually look for more. And you'll see a lot of our guys do the same thing. It's like they kind of trade the momentum. Like if it starts losing momentum, you know, if you see things like the price is kind of rising, but topping out and volumes coming down, I might just cut it. Um, and I'll also check the flows too. Like if, if the smart guys that bought, um, start selling or they're in a loss and start selling then I'll usually just sell too, which has been pretty good so far um, But then on like a so that that's more like on the loss cutting side on the winning side It's a little bit more of a art right because you can't just copy what these guys do um, Because all of their time horizons are very different like we had a lot of these new launch pros that bought Unibot like below a dollar and they were selling at like four dollars and they missed out on high six figures, easy seven figure wins because that's just not their style, right? They sell earlier. So you kind of have to, it's nine times out of 10, I use the site more for buy signals and then like the sell signals kind of on you and what your style of trading is. Um, if it's like a more of a meme, what is the difference between new launch pro? So this is actually, we're going to sunset this. So this was the new launch pro is basically doing something very similar to the filtering process I was talking about. So it basically only takes our new launch pros and shows you only tokens that are brand new and then their buys and sells. But because we're going to be adding in contract age filters to the regular alpha stream you don't even really need the new launch pro if that makes sense so that was like kind of an upgrade so that you don't even need to go to this tab and um, watch these people it's like you can just filter it right in the main stream and then you can customize it however you want So another thing you can do is, and sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't, is you can, or this filter is going to be drop down menu style. So yes, definitely the, we're going to get the emoji to be drop downs because like you don't need to be pacing the emoji every single time. Like those should be drop downs. You should actually be able to drop down those everywhere 
over the next couple of weeks, right? So even on the swap summary, right? Like it'd be kind of interesting if you could just filter these by the emoji, right? Like there's a little drop down right here and say, hey, I actually want to see what the new launch guys are doing or what the gem spotters are doing. And also if there's other wallet categories you want to see, we can add those too. Um, Cause you know, all those two icons or labels are doing is taking people that have made a lot of money in the last six months and kind of splitting them into why they're making their money. Like giving you the context about why, you know, what they're good at. So that when you see them aping a token, you're like, oh, this is a new launch pro. You can hover over their wallets. You can see their hit rate, their PNL, you know, which saves you a bunch of time right there from the start. So another thing you can do is you could just say, okay, this guy, like Irene, Irene's been pretty good as of late, as has King of Fools. Like you can just click these guys and just set up alerts on these wallets, right? Because on the homepage, you can see, you know, over the last seven days, like these guys are doing pretty good. Like Shia was very kind to the chain at Smart Money Crew. And so you could just set up alerts on these wallets. Um, because they're new launch pros, there's gonna be like a lot of noise. So you have to like exercise your shit coin uh, prowess because they, especially like Irene, for example, trades a lot. So they'll be in and out and then back in and then back out quite a bit in tokens. So um, now we're building some custom bot stuff around these things that'll make it a little bit easier to ape these and you really don't have to even think too hard. Um, but for now, you know, you could just click any of these set up alerts or you could just see what they're buying. Like, you know, this guy made 187K on Shia. Like, what are they buying now? Whoop. Uh, Mostly stabling up. Yeah, see nothing interesting recently. Um, but anyway, like that's like another kind of manual process, but like if you're looking for ideas, you can do it that way. Um, another thing you can always do, if you're looking for like longer term or fundamental holds, you could use this portfolio summary page, which basically, oh, maybe it's not working. Disregard that portfolio summary page is broken. Because um, we're we're building out these token pages where you can see smart money holdings over time. Because so all of the other pages um, are primarily swap flows, right? So it's driven by a swap activity. But then we're gonna do token balance view pages. So like, um, you know, you can pull up Foom and see, you know. Here's a list of smart money holders. Here's how their balances have tra trended over time, both for each holder, what their average entry is, and then a chart of their total aggregated holdings over time to give you a sense of who's buying, are they accumulating, and stuff like that. How do you time entries with the walls that are good at zero to two days? Uh, earlier is better, but also there is a confidence score I kind of think about so like if I filter like the uh, like last 24 hour flows for zero to two day old tokens and I one of these like that looks kind of stupid like this one <laughs> right like I bet it didn't do very well yeah um, usually I'll look at how many smart people aped in um, actually it still looks like it's a decent amount, but, um, you know, like if I only see one new launch person or just a new launch bot aping in, I kind of fade it. Also, if I see low dollar amounts like this, I usually just don't really care. Um, I really try to look for like a large number of unique new launch pros coming in. And decent size because then it's like okay you've got a little bit of confidence going to be good but then you need to act because uh time is of the f essence you know because these 
these guys are moving quick. Like usually the market cap down in these levels is is quite low. Um, but again, we're building custom bots that you can set up to easily, uh, like you set your own parameters around these wallets to get to what you think will do best. Something that would be very nice, Smiler's page, history of the transactions of the wallets I follow. Yep, that is coming. So that was actually in the original OG beta version back in March and it just got lost. So we will bring it back. Um, another cool thing that's coming too is just custom telegram alerts around any of these flows, right? So let's say you, I mean, so far we're not actually talking about general ideas, but in general, you know, it's like, oh, if you set up an alert for any time there's 20k of inflows from new launch pros into a token you'll get a telegram alert you know so then you're we're trying to cut down there's so many signals in the site right now and like the hardest thing in this current design is getting you to take action on it like because all of the data is quite actionable it's getting it into your fingers by the time you know like in time to actually trade it effectively right because doing it by hand for new launch pros not effective doing it for gem spotters pretty much works and there's going to be a lot more gem spotters in here because like you know it's not meant to be just like this new launch tool right it's supposed to be kind of like the dgen's bloomberg right we're, we're building out a research team um, to actually do like longer term research on like the newer, more fundamental tokens as well. Um, so that, that'll be coming next week. There'll be a lot more gem spotters in here. Um, how much will it cost after the updates? So everyone that's already a sub keeps whatever price they're in at, whether it's monthly or annual, but it's going up another 10 bucks a month because it is frankly underpriced. For as many people that I see printing in the Discord. Um, but let's see if we can actually find any ideas. What's the delay on the alpha stream? It's almost zero. Like this transaction was two minutes ago. Yeah, there's, there's almost no real delay, but I mean, the alerts will always be faster, right? Cause like there's some time lost of just um, getting the data into the UI and combing out spoofs and stuff like that. Um, but in, it also now auto updates if you haven't noticed. So anytime there's a new swap, like it automatically just pops in. So, okay, Irene is in this B-Bot. Do you guys know anything about the B-Bot? Irene sold the B-Bot. Can you run through how you do analysis on a two-day-old, like, Pepe? If you're looking to, uh, so let me pull that contract back in here. Is, yes, it should be auto refreshing even if you have the filters on. So this one is tough, honestly, because you know it's like almost at all time highs. Eh, sorta. Of. You know, like frankly, I don't have a framework to know if you should be buying this thing or not. The flows on it are kind of mixed. Right, even like to me, these look like pretty bearish flows, right? Like these wallets with the old tags that are getting killed over the weekend are also selling. The gem spot are selling, like generally bearish flows all the way. And like it makes sense, right? Because it's not something you like. Why would new this new Pepe? And they launched, you know, like last night there was at least seven derivatives of a new Pepe launch, like. 
it's kind of like, why is this going to win? Especially when Shia is taking over the world and it's drawing liquidity from literally everything. So that's kind of how I think about it, right? Because it's not just like a big takeaway I always try to tell people is like, you have to have your own style before you use the site, right? Um, like you kind of have to have like a framework of like, oh, like the new Pepe is not going to just like run to equal the original Pepe. There's no reason to. Um, the flows from the smart money is relatively bearish. I've actually seen a lot of inflows to the OG Pepe buying the dip. Um, and if, you know, the whatever is going on with them selling the tokens or people just get over it and the OG Pepe rallies, then obviously this one is not going to. So, you know, um, it's tough, right? Because you're in like kind of limbo with this random token that's like, a derivative meme and the derivatives typically don't do as well like you saw that with like the 150 harry potter obama um derivatives that were launched and didn't do very well i mean there was a couple that did but like most of them kind of just let out um because it just kind of kind of gets diluted so like I'd, I'd have no interest in it like the flows are bearish um and i mean we've seen like I said, we've seen some gem spotters come in and buying the dip on the real Pepe. If that makes sense. Like in general, I, I've watched the flows much more closely on like a meme coin because there's no, like, a meme coin has no value, which means it could have any value because there's no fundamentals or anything like that. And the smart money are very good at buying them early and then also adding into momentum. Like, we saw it on the original Pepe owner. Like, let's... Yeah, this is the original Pepe. So like if I look at OG Pepe as a case study, you'll see the flows, there was early flows, but then there's just buys into the momentum and then there's a big sell once it was over. And you know, it never really kind of recovered after that. Like some people have tried to buy the dip, but you see the outflows kind of come out. Um, and so, like, I really look for, like, though that pattern because, you know, like, these guys make money because they kind of hold through the, like, uh, like, oh, shit, this is going to be, this might be a pretty cool phase. And then there's guys that kind of ape into the momentum, um, like some gem spotters will. And then if you see a big, big red candle like that, usually it's not very good. Like, we saw that. Like on these tokens that are just a little bit older, it's it's kind of a lot easier to watch the flows on the chart, and you could see it like, like look at these flows on Unibot, like they bought early. A lot of them actually bought in Unibot V1, right, which is back here. Like some buys into the run up, big sell candle, couple buys, but I mean net like that's just people taking profits, you know basically anywhere from 127 to 200. You have no worries when chainage scales the total amount of purchases by, uh, there's enough wallets where I don't think it's going to get diluted, but um, we have some ideas around that. like. I don't want 5,000 people using this because then it will start to get diluted. Um, and we'll probably, like some of the features, like the custom bots, for example, will probably sit a different tier to protect the alpha there, um, if that makes sense. 
but no, I, I'm not really worried about it getting diluted yet. Um, what to do with the Chainage Sub and Tweeth wallet? Uh, wait till we have alerts, is what I'd say, to be honest. Not financial advice, but if you're like trying to run up to ETH, like I went through this when I first got in crypto, um, like nine times out of 10, you're probably seeing, you're not seeing the fresh brand new flows on the alpha stream. Sometimes you'll see them, like we had someone catch catch it on Shia and hit it, you know, 70X. Um, but like a lot of times, you know, you're not gonna be at your computer all day. Um, and so you're not gonna see new things come through here versus if you can set up a custom bot that says, I mean, even just a custom alert, which will be included for all subs. Say, I want new launch pros with over 200K PNL, X percent hit rate, um, that, bu that bought in total, let's say 10K in total, um, and the token is new, right? Like there's been no buys before them. And so you can have your bot say, tell me when, you know, there's been all of those, you know, parameters hit, and then you get the alert and then you'd be like, okay, based on my experience of using the site, you know, for a couple weeks now, I think those parameters are going to set me up to crush it, right? Then you get that alert and then you can trade on that and then you'll be early and you have like a lot of context behind your move, if that makes sense. See what I'm saying, Goran? No? Okay. Um, anyway, let's see if we can catch, let's see if we can catch a, oh, I already have a filter. Are you saying lender or lander's already doubled since it was on here the first time? <laughs> so let's see, we started the stream 37 minutes ago. So let's... <laughs> uh, how's that for alpha? So someone in the chat is saying that this token has doubled since we, since it first showed up on the stream. Hopefully the, the way I paste that will show up. Ah, uh, let me get the contract address. Typically, it's always faster to use the contract address instead of the text search. I always do the text search because that's how it was originally set up. There's definitely more than one guy that bought this. What, am I spelling it wrong? Let's just put L and D. Maybe I'll, I'll find it. I saw a bunch of them too when, right when it started, and now I can't find them. I don't know what is going on. Oh, maybe my transaction value is too high? I guarantee that's it. So this thing is now trading at 0 0.005. It doesn't look like it's been going up. It looks like it's kind of been shitty. Okay, whatever, moving on. All right, let's see if we can find, let's find a banger. I mean, Shia is just like this. It's just pulling in all of these people. I see, that's like an old, it's an old one. It's been kind of a slow day, new launch land. Let me go look for the gem. But I mean, let's see if we can find a, at least a case study of using 
And so, so for people that do have subs, uh, all of the wallet labels will be basically converting to just the new launch pros, the gem spotters, the new launch bots, and then funds. And then the rest of them are going to get sunsetted because, you know, they're, they were all basically iterations to get us to this current one, if that makes sense. So let's see if the gem spotter, like, let's see if we can find an example of when this would have crushed it for us. So that's interesting that someone's coming back to telly. That's a, I think that's the one that we can like just send money to people via telegram. It's been really good, like a tour. Let's see if. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> it's, it's mostly just that one wallet, but. This guy bought some. Yeah, look at the chart. Which one? Ator? I know Ator's been good. Oh, we could see your guy buying Tilly. <laughs> what is the contract you have in the field? That's just ETH. Right? Because all of these newer pairs are just going to trade against ETH. Right? Because all of them show as the swap, right? So there's always a sell. Yeah, Suzu bought all of the Ator for sure. I mean, well, rumored to be Suzu. We don't know. Because he's, he's in here because he's got a uh, pretty good PL on, uh, I think he made a million on Rollbit, like 150K on Unibot, and then 30K on something called Tools. And then he's sitting on a decent unrealized gain on, what's the other one he was buying a bunch of? Not high low, uh, Olas. Okay, so we can't use Ator because he's been buying all of the Ator. Oh, let's do um, this guy. Yep, pretty good. I mean, I don't know what Link trades at today, but I know it's probably higher than that. Yeah, almost a double from these buys back here you know so you'd be seeing link I think actually the new launch guys traded link pretty well yeah see sometimes the new launch guys spill over and just crush it See, and that's like the nice thing, you know, like, because we do all of the work for you, you know, it's like these wallets are very good and consistent at making money. So yeah, they, they all were buying Link, like the early guy. Well, there's some real early ones in here, but it looks like most of the flows were between 0 0.05 and like 0.1, and it trades at 0.2, so pretty good. How did you get a picture of the diamond in the filter? I just pasted it. I literally just grabbed it from a gem spot and just pasted it in. We'll have a drop down filter to do it in the updated version. Um, you can do the same thing for like, there are funds in the flows. It doesn't mean they have high PL, but they're in there because some people wanted them. Um, Some people bought Trump. I remember seeing this yesterday. 90K PL buying Coco. So, another thing I always look for when I'm glancing through the Alpha Stream like this is like a pocket of buys because you're, you're trying to find anomalies, right? Like, like a buy on a thing like Telly out of nowhere is kind of an anomaly, right? Because I haven't heard anyone say anything about it in. Uh, when did that launch? Like four or five days ago. It's like that's interesting, right? And he he's he's got a hundred k realized PL, all of which comes from aping later. So obviously, 
they see some sort of potential with the telly. Um, but like a really good example of okay, what's the perfect scenario you'd love to see in change that worked for you? So when you have the rocket emoji and then you find a token that's actually new, uh, usually it works pretty good. Um, like that's how I think I saw Saint, um, and that one was pretty good for me. Um, there was another good one recently. Not shares. Uh, I can't remember. Um, baby ship. We had somebody do really good on baby ship. Seeing it in here. Um. But yeah, you're looking for like anomalies, right? Which either is like you're seeing buys in something that you haven't seen in a while, or you're seeing a cluster of buys. Same thing on like the home page. Oh, my filters are probably bogging it down. You know, like, obviously a loss is being driven by that one wallet, but like, Shia has been a straight up, yes, yeah, he got a 10X on baby shit. Like, amazing. Like, I literally get stories like that every day. It's like, hey, I just hit like a 30X. Like, should I sell? It's like, yeah, probably. Um, let's see here. Like, soaps, kind of an anomaly, like 50K of net inflows on a new token. Let's see if there's any other new token stuff that's interesting. This Alpha Street page is bogging me down. No, I can't even get it to work. Like news is another one that's kind of interesting. This is actually kind of a nice one. It's like more in my strike zone, which like the smart money gave you the signal to pay attention to it. Oh, now it works. Yeah, so the most inflows in the new launches, Soaps, News, and Betsy. And then this is New Pepe. So News is like a uh, news trading telegram bot. And so it's actually a good example of something that we're going to cover in the more of like research product that we're gonna factor into this or like put into the site, right? Cause you, on one like this, that's more fundamental. You kind of need a little more research to see like, is it real? Can you talk to the team? What alpha can you find? Cause the token last I checked is kind of been meh. You know, like the flows also, you know, kind of mixed. No gem spotters have come in. You know, that's the other thing I look for too is like one sided um, movements. So like, like this is like, it's kind of choppy, right? Like if you look at Shia, you'll see why, <laughs> if you look at Shia, you'll see why Shia just keeps trying to break its all time high. It's because it's just like one sided token flows. Yeah. It's like one sided blocks of people wanting more. Um, and those are like the anomalies where like it just kind of gets crazy. Like even these gem spotters are coming in, 160k PNL. This guy's buying more. This is the million PNL trader. It's not not the perfect day to do this stream because, yeah, I mean you could ape Shia now, but I think it flipped Shib in Mar in FDV, so it's like. I don't know. But then at the same time, like the market cap is only like half a percent of the FDB right now. So it's like, I, I don't know what to do with it. I'm, I'm a misser. I saw it in the site and faded it. And now it's, it's literally going to be almost a dollar. Can you go deeper onto deciphering bearish flows on a token that ran hard while some buys are coming in? So, um, one thing that's important, so you'll actually see this a lot in the real big runners, is you'll see a lot of just profit taking at the top once they find exit liquidity. That's what happens with these two almost every day. 
right? Like Rollbit's actually been pushing all time highs, but we have outflows every day. That's because like three days ago, our total smart money holdings of Rollbit were like eight million bucks. So is it bearish? It could be, but they're just re really taking profit. So you'd actually have to go and look at the token holdings page, you know, which will just sit as a tab right here and see what it looks like. You know, because to me, these flows remind me a lot of Unibot. Obviously, the price doesn't agree yet, but there's been a lot of selling. Um, <laughs> look, you can even see the rotation. This is kind of funny. Look at that rotation. The classic roll bit to Shia rotation. Um, but yeah, it's on like a newer token. It's tough. Like you almost need to just like set up alerts. Because there's certain tokens in the site that just like are screaming at you the whole time, which is like, I mean, roll bit, Unibot, zero at x for a long time um we're just like all buys in the site and now they're all sells um but let me think about that one and i'll come back to it you mentioned the difference between shia's market cap and ftb so like here's a little on-chain analysis 101 so if you pop this thing in here So the, yeah, this is a, the staking contract or pre lock you know, pre-sale contract, whatever you want to call it. These aren't circulating. I don't think this one's circulating either. This one's liquidity. So that's, you know, 99.5% of the tokens are not circulating and trading. So while the FDB is like 6 billion now, the market cap is... Uh, you know, whatever that is, 30 or something. Now, obviously, whenever this starts to unlock, you're going to have a lot of people with a lot of money that are probably going to want to sell it. So I'd watch out for that. Is this a new token? No. Huh. Okay. This is kind of interesting. All right. Here's our first good one. There is something going on. I don't know what this token is. It's an older token, right? But this is like an anomaly. Like you see it and you're like, what is going on here? Almost no activity for six months. Like you can see the smart money buys are like December. And then all of a sudden, it's like this guy who's a real good trader, 1.6 million in realized PL with a 60% hit rate, apes 16K in the last six minutes. The gem spotter came back into it in a little smaller size. Also saw this very good new launch pro moving like 27K into this thing two days ago. Um. So obviously they think something's going on or they're just trying to pump the price, but like I'd research it because that's like a true anomaly. Like I would say that's the most interesting one I've seen since we've done started the stream. If you have one advice to an impatient ape that decided to leave a ring. <coughs> uh Oh, the biggest piece of advice would be just like, you don't need to trade. Like there's only one really good token every day. So like you just got to like wait and swing at it. Like all of these, when they ape like little amounts, like they're obviously just like hoping they could get like a, a small pump and then, you know, stack some ETH so they can ape it into something better. Um, but I'd say like you have a limited amount of time and capital and you should just wait for something that looks really good. It hits all of your key indicators and then you go for it.
Yeah, so someone's saying they're, they treat it like a lottery. They do. They're new launch pros. I mean, their hit rates are in the site. It's all over the site. So I'm not really sure what you're talking about. Like, all of the wallets have their hit rates. Um, I mean, if you just buy everything they buy, you're not going to do that well. Like, you need to have your own analysis process, which is why I say... Time and time again, every stream, you have to have your own process. You can't just blind ape into everything they buy because they are gambling. It's all gambling. This is crypto, you know. Um, and look at what the blind gambling did for these guys. Like, our all of our smart money guys made a million realized on Shia. We had someone in the Chainage Discord hit a uh, ADX on Shia. So, like, it's... You know, like the signals are there. It's like it's kind of on you to decipher how to trade them. Um, I mean, some of the traders are better than others, but especially these rocket guys. I mean, all of their hit rates aren't great. They just have a like a lot of really good trades, but they ape a lot of stuff. So like. You can't just throw an ETH at everything Irene touches and expect to do well because like 80% of it is going to go to zero. Which is why we're building custom bots and stuff. But like, I mean, if you just followed my free telegram and just aped everything that I put in there, which is like an aggregation of this, like there's about like a 2x a day. Like, you know, you're not getting, you're not getting a Lambo, but you are making money when the market's going down which is good enough for me. And we've had plenty of people that have done very well using the data. But again, like all of the data is there to help you. Like their win rates are in there. Where can you find the Telegram? It's, it, the link is in my Twitter and it's free. Um, you know, like all of the win rates and stuff are there, but yeah, I mean, they're still gamblers, right? Like, they're just better at it than everyone else. Other than these these two. They're, like, programmatic gamblers. But they really don't lose money when the token's bad because they just sell it so fast. But, like, nine times out of ten, especially when you see ones with a lot of... Oh, I can't hover those ones for some reason. Uh, if you see a, token, uh, a wallet that's aped, like, 1,500 tokens... Like, they are a gambler. They're just good at it, right? Like, it's just like, um, that's just what they do. Versus if you find one that, like, let me, I'm trying to find an example. For some reason, I can't get them to actually work. Is there a Discord community for Chain Edge? Yeah, for, right, it's, it's primarily, or almost exclusively, uh, paid subs. You actually get a, uh, email sequence when you sign up with the link, but if you don't have it, I can always give it to you. Um, but I mean, like, these... If you don't want to deal with the gambling side of it, the real shitcoining side of it, like, I would follow more of these gem spotters or find people that have only done, like, 10 trades, and they hit 8 of them, and they made it to the site because if they made it to the site there's a lot of filtering that goes on there's also still a lot of filtering that's going to be done over the weekend to get rid of some of these holdover wallets <laughs> bubbles 110k i mean you know like the signals are there but the link is out there right mm, not sure what you mean did you mention there's a telegram channel there's a free telegram channel for anybody where I post stuff sometimes. Um, but it's always late, but it's so far been almost always profitable because I just like, I flag anomalies I see using the site by hand. Now, once the telegram alerts are cooking, I think the all of the subs are gonna have a really good time because instead of sitting here doing all of these filters and stuff like you can have a telegram bot just do all that for you and just tell you immediately when something's going on um but yeah so so far we only found that rvst 
And there's something going on there. I don't know anything about it. One versus nine. He's very good. Eh, decent. Uh, I recall getting the Discord link from a bra. You might be talking about the newsletter, though. Because there's the newsletter, then there's Chain Edge. Um, so I found a banger, though. I was really hoping. Really hoping we have at least one good one. We're going to try again. I mean, like a process a lot of people do. Um, like the two processes most people talk about is doing either this way or they sort through the wallets and they find people that are, uh, let's call it more selective with their moves so that when you see them move, you know it's time to pay attention. So if you're worried about the gambling nature of these shit coiners, because it is gambling, I would recommend kind of building a list you could go right down the uh, leaderboard and find people that are kind of, uh, you know, let's say they only did 10 trades. I think that's pretty low compared to, you know, I think this one actually is not terrible. 60% hit rate, they've done 77 trades. Like that's pretty low, all things considered. This guy looks like he's buying enough metal to try the tools. These two copy each other. I've seen Vibe a lot. Someone in the thing mentioned that Vibe was sketchy. Is that true? I think Vibe is what we've seen the most of in the site so far. Lots of zeros. <laughs> is it? <laughs> yep. <laughs> Vibe to earn. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Where's, the, where's my page, page at? That's the third one. Yeah, I mean, that will happen. Were they aping? Yeah, see, that's always the easiest indicator, right? Like, if they're aping at $80, <laughs> if they're aping at $80, they, they're, they're not so super confident. Because <laughs> this guy's like a pretty good trader, 1.6 million. 1.6 million realized PL and he put a hundred bucks in. You know? Uh it's not very good. Let's make sure these weren't spoofed. Yeah, they're not spoofed. Anything else? We just hit an hour. We found one kind of interesting idea. This lander had a None of them really had like high dollar flows. Can you explain spoofed? So if someone wanted to rinse you guys and scam you for all your money, they're gonna send all these people tokens. And if we didn't clean up spoofs, you'd say, oh, PVP's buying, uh, you know, Trump is the next president. And so then you buy it and then they'd rug it and they'd steal your money. So, um, the easy way to check, I've went over this before, but if this address does not equal the address getting the tokens, right, from the swap, right, they bought Shia with ETH. This guy, there's like select examples where that there is a really complex transaction and it's actually not a spoof, but nine times out of 10, and for the purposes of this, if these two are not the same, it's probably a spoof. So they're, they're basically right. So they're trying to get like our site to just tell you, oh, um, you know, like I, I saw this a lot. Nancy used to have this problem back in the day and then they cleaned it up. You know, they're basically trying to like anyone that follows these wallets because people follow some of these wallets, right? They're just trying to trip you up. Yeah, it feels like there is just a gravitational liquidity pool to Shia, which probably means it just keeps on going. Because this is probably one of the slowest new launch days I've seen in a while. 
and I mean the market's going down so if you see Trump on the left what do you mean no the trade will still happen they're just spoofing they're, they're swapping it with like it's basically a custom swap where I swap like let's this is me I'll swap my ETH into Trump but then I'll say the receiver needs to be you and now it looks like you bought it because it went into your wallet and then some you know someone that doesn't know what a spoof is will get scammed So basically, you know, this guy, right? This is the initiator, the person in control. You know, if they're not receiving the token that they swapped, it's probably a spoof. But then suddenly in a couple hours, something will pop off a hundred. So that's wallets we watch coil spoof. sure what you mean but yeah trader uh something will definitely pop off especially if she uh, like cools down or stops going up um i feel like personally i always see a lot more of them at night didn't get that part about spoofing so what about it isn't clear Trump tokens, like, just don't really want to ape Trump tokens, you know? Bernardo, you have to be more specific on your question about what you don't understand about the spoofs. These filtered alpha streams is bug bugging me down. Can't even pull it up. Any other questions? I feel like we've been on for a long time. And there's literally nothing interesting going on. Let's see if the portfolio summary tab is working. My devs are probably upgrading the servers or something because now I can't get anything to load. <sighs> great, great stuff. Anything else? If there's other wallet categories, like mm -hmm. certain parameters you want to see, um, we can add those in there. Um, like I've thought about doing like an influencer category to almost be like a contra indicator right so like um like we saw shia before anyone's seeing shia right because like that's just the way we roll but like i've always toyed with the idea of having like um yeah like we could put an influencer wallets in here and then it's like actually like a, a contra right like they're making their calls but then obviously, you know, sometimes it still works out. Huh, this is kind of a weird one. All right, we're, we're not done yet. Let's make sure this isn't a spoof. Looks good. Huh. New token, Jabberwock is decent. 50% hit rate, 640k PL, about 1600 bucks. How would you know it's influencers? Um, 
you know, it could be tagged somewhere. It's not that hard to do, to be honest. Um, like I remember when I tagged Chad Caps, it took me like 20 minutes. Oh, this already rug. That's why there's no vibes on it. Nice. Well done. Uh, so the way most people do influencer wallets uh, are kind of broken. I actually could build a tool in here relatively easily. You All you need to do is query swap overlaps and time periods, right? So most people will go to some sort of Dune dashboard and they'll say if there's token overlap across like three things they ate, it's, it might be them. But because sometimes these people sell into the call, you actually just need like time horizons of when you think they swapped in and out of it. And then you could just run a query of, you know, give me a wallet that is swapped in these three tokens in these separate three time ranges and you'll probably find them. Cause that's what I did when I found the Chadinator who is not a LARP. Hopefully he doesn't see this that I, that I tagged his wallet in here. Oh. Yeah, 300k PNL, 47% hit rate. He's probably the only one we have tagged, but that's because his PNL is so good. Nothing interesting recently though. RVST looking sketchy AF. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what's going on there. It, it was kind of a random. Does anyone know what it even is? I mean, it can't be for nothing, right? Like you're just pumping like a dead coin for no reason. I mean, I don't know. Don't know. Um, but yeah, next week, project seems legit. Yeah, so maybe something's going on there. I mean, it's only like a two million market cap. Mm, honestly, so someone's asking what conditions would using Chainage be good in? I think if you had custom bots or at least alerts that you could trade, you would do. There's people making money with it now. Um, there's enough degeneracy in all of these links and reflex and um, Shia, soaps, Newsly. Uh, like there are tokens every day that do very well so I think you could do fine now and then you'd build up the kind of muscle memory and reps to then crush it once there's some more euphoria I don't know if we'll I always get nervous that retail will never come back to the on-chain world because they lost so much money being not sophisticated but you never know. Once once Shia gets to thirty billion FDV, maybe that's enough to get retail to just chase it. Three small button tail. Yeah, I don't know. If I see anything interesting, if you guys join the Telegram, I'll flag it there. So far, kind of a dud in terms of new ideas other than maybe that RBST thing. I mean, it's not, it doesn't look like, sometimes you'll see these like, uh, like they'll pump an old coin and then they'll just sell right down into it. it sure doesn't look that way on this guy. I mean, this was like our buys, right? Triggering it. I have no idea what's going on there. Link. I'm 
I've seen a lot of flows in Hoshi. I don't know anything about it. I saw a lot of fresh wallet flows into it too. I don't know how it's done. Share some alpha. Um, there's always more alpha in the Chainage Discord because there is a community research channel where everyone um, kind of like someone in there flagged Shia early. Uh, someone just hit baby something. Um, yeah, Hoshi attempting all time highs. Yeah, shit. See, I faded that one. That one's been real popular in the site. Why do I use lines and candles? Because I'm, I just ape the tokens, dude. Yeah, shit. Yeah, I mean, this was ringing here. We'll just go back just for sake of saying we kind of saw one. So if we look at Hoshi, there's been a lot of flows on this guy, like for like all day yesterday it looks like. Green, in and out. This guy's decent. Don't know who that is. Yeah, this one's pretty good too. Yeah, see I mean, I always say like if you follow the, the real flows, like you know, the real apes, like you'll find which tokens are going to go to all-time highs because these guys it's like twitter but for shit coins because they they will drive the attention to the token uh are you using dj plays group so i do dj plays uh the chain edge discord and then uh i don't really share plays or calls on the telegram i just kind of flag stuff and then they all seem to just go straight up because i flag just like the true Anomalies like I flagged last night that new Pepe had like 20k of inflows and I didn't know why and then it doubled uh, I think I shared reflex in there because I saw like an abnormal amount of buying um, I think that tripled <sighs> Filter out low win rate or did Add a filter to filter out low win rate or accounts. Only did a few transactions. So, yes, that's happening over the weekend to start. So you don't need to do anything. Because some of these are just holdovers from our old smart money kind of framework. Um, and then. I wonder if we could actually add that filter to the alpha stream that filters the alpha stream by win rate. That would be kind of cool. Hey, like give me 50% win rate or higher. Right. That would be cool. But yeah, the, the wallet cleanup going on over the weekend, uh, which is our final round of wallet cleanup, because we just need to get these old ones out of here, which usually is automatic, but we've been changing a lot of stuff around to try to get to this new format of labels, which I think is very, very good. Um, so like so, some of these wallets that are just like, this one it's like garbage like it needs to be gone like all of those will get cleaned out because we stopped the uh, alcos until we had everything straightened up when automated telegram alerts alpha stream so we could do that but your phone is gonna get blown up um Agreed. That's a good call. So I'm going to come back to you, Rudd. These should definitely say the actual token names, not just token. So let me write that down. Um, so for automated Telegram alerts, I think that would fall under the custom Telegram alerts for basically, like, let's say you just want, like, anytime there's 
10k of inflows into anything you know like you could customize it however you want um but that's going to give you like a summary of the alpha stream i don't know i'd have to think through i mean you can't just have like this thing stream to you like you're gonna <laughs> i don't know how you're gonna stay on top of it Weren't you going to make like, yeah, I talked about that earlier. So like three, you could do like three new launch pros of an X PNL and hit rate type, touch a new token. Um, those are coming soon. Those are done. We just need to get it into the UI, which will happen next week. It'd be great if we could filter for buy sell because we don't care what they sold for. Yeah, um, so like, what do you want to filter for though? Just like buys only? Well, these all are buys and sells. This, this, right now your filter would miss rotations. That's true. Um, let me think about the best way to do that one. Is there a member only Discord? So for chainage subs, yeah. Um, you received the link in your like welcome to chainage email, but you can also just DM me and I'll get you set up. But yeah, we could change up the panels. Or just have a button. Um, let me think about it. But let's wrap it up there. This is the longest one yet. We're dragging along. If you have any other questions, just ping one of the discords or DM me on Twitter. Um, but hopefully this was helpful. This is our biggest turnout so far. We'll do another one in a week or two. Um, and actually maybe we'll do one next week if everything's launched because there's going to be quite a lot of new things in here which will hopefully be pretty sweet so thank you all for joining and we'll talk then <laughs>